Hey everybody, doing, I uh, finally organized my record collection. I got uh, bin one, which is punk, and I got metal and uh, horror soundtracks. Gonna start uh, the first video with doing the punk bin. So, to start it, Walk Among Us, gonna be a lot of Misfits and Danzig. Legacy, uh, first of the many bootlegs, uh, we got some uh, MSP sessions here. Now this actually, this next one is just the vinyl. I got the album itself hanging up, but this is a uh, collection. Shit. I believe it's hanging up over here. We got collection two. Where the hell is it? There we go. Collection two on clear vinyl. I might as well show you my Danzig one picture disc. And here's some Danzig six Elvis. But anyways, back to the, back to the bin. Uh, Sam Hain, Initium, November Coming Fire, Final Descent, obviously this is a boot, I don't think it was ever officially released on, uh, on vinyl, hopefully someday, Life Without a Net, that's, uh, demos, uh, early Danzig demos, even, I think some of the Sam Hain, some on the Sam Hain box set is on this, uh, these demos. Lucifuge. And then Danzig's Boom re-releasing, or most of his, uh, his Danzig 5. That was never even on vinyl. We got the new Danzig 6 release. <clears throat> and then this just came out. It's, got this for Christmas. The Cir Circle of Snakes on clear vinyl. Pretty cool. Uh, Black Laden Crown. And now I keep the uh, the newer Misfit stuff separate from the old Misfit stuff. So here's uh, Land of the Dead. This is still sealed. I don't keep most stuff sealed, but these versions aren't even that good of the song. The only big deal is uh, or differences they have robo on this one and on the album he's somebody else but uh here we go the new jerry only half of this is good it's cool it glows in the dark i know everybody complains about the price but i mean it does glow in the dark i've had this forever <clears throat> the undead live slayer it's the live i think this is just bobby playing with a a drum machine but either way had that one forever here's a newer undead i got this when i saw them live he's and his wife signed this i think it's on the inside though so i'm gonna pull it out right now morning noise steve zing's uh 80s horror punk band which i think they just got uh back to yeah, i'm kidding i actually auditioned for that didn't get it but it's cool the guy got it's doing a good job uh, the damn black album had this forever. Um, back in the day, you couldn't even get this in America. This is really the only way to get it to you so that I could even hear it. Um, it was before the internet and all that stuff. So anything, uh, phantom chords. This is another boot. This is basically the next, I think the next album they did that never got released. Cramps. So many boots out there now. This one was pretty old. I got this back in the day, but there's so many of them out there now. A lot cool live one like this. There you go. Just songs that weren't on. I don't think a lot of these were on any of the albums. So, yeah, that's that's the deal with that one. Another great Psychobilly band, or the Psychobilly band, the Meteors. It's a newer one of theirs. Now, if you don't know who these guys are, vile tones i suggest you go buy this right now these guys were basically i'd say the dead boys of canada or i mean they were in canada they were probably the biggest uh 77 punk band at the time but i mean every every song on this kicks ass so i would highly suggest getting this uh, this is an original that one just got released this one was from back in the day this is very hard to come by now saturday night sunday morning their live album first full-length album as well 
Boys Next Door, Nick Cave's first band. This is pretty cool. Screamers. The only way to get these guys is pretty much on bootleg. They never got officially recorded, but really cool band from L.A. Every every song is basically it's three synthesizers or two either way, like three synthesizers and a drum and a vocalist. Really different type of punk band. Highly recommend that. Black Flag. This is a bootleg, but this is the Demos 82. This is the only way you can hear the lineup which is probably the best lineup, never got recorded, but you got Dukowski, Chuck Biscuits on drums, and then the rest of the Damage lineup there. And then this is also another boot, but it's the last show, and this is the only, like, the the last lineup was never, never put an album out, so this is, like, one of the only ways you can hear them on vinyl. And now this, good for you. What this is, is basically, if you're seeing the new lineup of Black Flag, this is what this is. This is just basically Greg Ginn playing guitar and bass, and Mike Vallely singing. Pretty good. Drumming on this sucks. Guys, if you're putting out a new Black Flag album, for God's sakes, get a good drummer. Your Black Flag, you can get probably anybody you want, and get a producer. But either way, these are it's still pretty good, but very similar to what, I mean, it's basically Black Flag right now, 2022 or whatever. Um, they opened for Black Flag back when Ron was singing with them again. Social D, uh, Live A through practice section. I really like I like this lineup. There's not enough of the early lineup, so I got this. <clears throat> the classic uh, self-titled where they hit the big time. Probably like lots of hits on this album. My personal favorite Social D album. Is so glad this got released. Great 180 gram vinyl, white light, white heat, white trash. Just such a that's that's my favorite one. Uh, suicidal 82 demos because I love that early suicidal. And here's that album. This might be my favorite, but I have to say, this is probably my favorite. How I Left Tomorrow, it's where they did their big time crossover to heavy metal. Great album. Speaking of crossing over to metal, this is Bad Brains. This is pretty much, I'd say, their metalist album. Really good, like that one. Flipper. Uh, I think this is live. CBGB's. Eh, it's, it's all right. The Dwarves. So I got this when I saw them live not too long ago. And then Nirvana. This is my favorite Nirvana album, so I'd get that on vinyl. Still sounds great. <clears throat> Got this recently, Fugazi demo. It's like their early stuff. Some of it's not even released. Like some songs aren't unreleased. Really good though. I just I didn't even know this existed. I just got it at a record show. It's really cool and it doesn't sound sh like shitty demos. It's it's a good sounding album. King Horse. Uh, for those who don't know, well, that's done by the Pusshead album cover, but this was produced by Danzig uh, when he was starting. I guess he was going to start doing more of that. Uh, the, for whatever reason that didn't happen but i really like this album a lot of people don't but it's for me it's a classic the independents great guys great music uh they were in if you know i did red box killer they were nice enough to be in the movie i have this signed by them in the it's in, on the inside calabrese another good hard rock band they signed this when i saw them did a good job this is a great album and then pure hell you, that's another band if you never heard of these guys go get them i would say these are like the dead boys out of philly basically around the same time um i don't think this ever got a full release or i think they would have been a lot bigger but great album not a bad song on it and then speaking i've been mentioning them uh so many this is the dead boys this is technically a boot of uh the second album uh, you know, a lot of people don't like the mix of the second album. So this is like the, the pre-mix or whatever. So it's cool to have that. Lords of the New Church, Stiv's next band, great band. Switch hands here, this is getting tired. Ramones. This is my favorite Ramones record. I'm not saying it's the best, but it's my favorite. It's a, They kind of got just a little more heavier on this one. They got Marky. Really good songs on this one. 
Rock and Roll High School soundtrack. Clash. Radio Birdman, another one I've had for a long time. Uh, another reason is just because I could not get a hold of them on CD or anything uh, back in the day. So I uh, got this to hear them. Really good group. The Sonics, this is their newest one. I got this at their show when I saw them when they came back around. Still pretty good. Bone Crusher, Street Rock. I'd recommend their earlier stuff, especially, but good band. Band called The Left. Uh, my old band, Where Evil's Dare, played with them, and I got this at the show. This is a, I think this goes for like 80 bucks on eBay now because there's two different versions of the cover or something. Either way, good, good band. Necromantics. G.G. Allen. This has got a bunch of different stuff. I think some live, some... De it, it's a cool record to get. I think Merle puts this one out. Iggy Pop, Post Pop Depression. Really good one with Josh from Queens of the Stone Age. Just really different. Zombie Birdhouse. Full on 80s, blah, 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 but still a good album. I think that was with Steve Jones. David Bowie got back with him for a little bit. Steve Jones on this too. Kind of more of a heavy, heavier album. And then last for the punk is Rick L. Rick, early L.A. punk rocker. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how this one goes. And maybe I'll do a metal one next and the uh, soundtracks next. But, uh, yep, finally got it organized. So there's the punk rock.